Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to use ThirdWeb to start building on Coinbase's new L2 blockchain called Base. We're gonna go over some of the basic things that you need to go ahead and get started, like setting up a Coinbase wallet and getting testnet funds. And then we're gonna go ahead and deploy a smart contract on the base testnet using ThirdWeb. So without wasting any more time, let's jump on the computer and get started. Before we get into the video, currently 70% of you amazing people who watch our videos are not subscribed to our channel. So if you do find value and you do enjoy these videos, do us a small favor, hit that subscribe button, join the 30%. On top of that, every Every week we will be selecting 10 subscribers and we will be airdropping a very special third web nft all right so on our computer here the first thing we're going to have to do is set up a coinbase wallet base is an l2 blockchain created by coinbase uh, so you are going to need their wallet to get started you can go ahead come on over to their website which is coinbase.com wallet we'll Put that in the link down below as well you can go ahead and hit download coinbase wallet here uh, they do have apps for your mobile devices but you can go ahead and actually download the chrome extension as well once it's downloaded you'll have to set up the wallet it's going to give you a recovery phase you have to create a password and everything just like setting up any other type of wallet and once you have your wallet set up you're going to need some funds before you can actually start deploying things so you can actually go over to coinbase's faucet here uh, and then we have their faucet for their base gorilla faucet. Now, I have my wallet connected. Uh, I already claimed my my gor base gorilla for the day, but you can collect a zero point one. Uh, ETH on base girly uh, every 24 hours. So you can go ahead and claim that. All you need to do is connect your wallet, or you can go ahead and use Base's bridge. Um, we'll link that down below as well, but bridge.base.org. And you can go ahead and in here, you can go ahead and bridge over Gurley from mainnet ETH and you can bridge it to base Gurley if you want to. So you can connect your wallet and uh, you can connect, say you have it on MetaMask or something. You can connect your MetaMask wallet and then you can go ahead and convert that over to base early if you choose to do so. So if you need a little bit more testnet funds and you already claimed your point one from Coinbase's faucet, you can always go ahead and bridge over Gurley ETH uh, to base Gurley ETH if you need to. So now that we have our wallet and we have some base girly ETH in our wallet, let's go ahead and deploy a contract using ThirdWeb. So I'm gonna go to thirdweb.com here, go to our dashboard. I'm gonna switch our wallet here really quick and connect our Coinbase wallet that has our base girly ETH in it. And once I have that connected, we can come on over to our contracts here and we can go ahead and deploy a contract. So if you come on over to the deploy new contract, you can go ahead and select any one of the contracts that we offer here at ThirdWeb, plus any other contracts that we have on our explore page. You can go ahead, explore our explore page, see any contracts that you want to go ahead and deploy. For this example, we'll just do a NFT drop. So I have it right here. We'll click on that and we'll go into the top right and hit deploy now. Then we'll give our contract a name. I'm just going to call this test based NFT and we'll just give it a token of base test. I'm not going to add an image or anything here. Now, at the very bottom here, this is going to be the network or chain that you want to go ahead and deploy your contract to. Now, you're going to have to go to configure networks here. And in our network search, you can go ahead and add a network and we'll just type in base and you should see base Gorilla testnet. You can go ahead and click on that and then you can go ahead and add network and that will add it to your list of networks you can go ahead and deploy from. So we'll go ahead and close that out. Now in our drop down over here, if we open that up and scroll down a bit into our testnet area, you can see at the bottom here we have base girly testnet. 
that we can go ahead and deploy our contract to. So we'll go ahead and select that. We'll click deploy now. Ooh, let's switch our wallet to the testnet. So we'll go ahead and deploy. We're going to confirm our transactions here. We're going to have to sign a couple transactions. And then we'll just sign the signature here to add it to our dashboard. All right, and once our contract has been successfully deployed, you can see here that we are brought to our NFT drop page. You can go ahead and add your NFTs, a claim condition. But if we take this contract address here really quick, we can head on over to base scan, which is like the ether scan for the base network. And you can go ahead, let's paste that contract address in real quick and we will search it. And then you can see right here that we have this transaction that we just put through on creating our smart contract. Now let's go ahead and add an NFT. So we'll go ahead and just do, a, we'll just call it a base NFT. We will upload a file here. I have just a little emoji artwork there. And what we'll do is we won't add a description or anything, but we'll just lazy mint that. Go ahead and confirm that transaction. And there you go. We now have our NFT lazy minted there. And if we wanted to make our NFTs claimable, we can go ahead and set claim conditions and people can go ahead and claim our NFTs that we created on the base blockchain. And now that you have your NFT smart contract ready, you can actually go ahead, you can open up your terminal and you can use third web CLI like MPX third web create app. And we can go ahead and start creating our application for our base NFT. So we'll just call this base NFT. It is an EVM. You can use Next.js. We'll use TypeScript. And with that, you can go ahead and start building applications for the base network. And once that's done, we can change directory to our base NFT and we'll go ahead and open that up in our code editor. Now in our code editor here, we can actually set up our base app really easy. If you go on over to thirdweb.com slash base dash girly, you can see the chain information right over here. So give you the chain ID, the explorers and everything that you can go ahead and look at. But if you scroll down a little bit here, you can go ahead and see how you can go ahead and install and initialize the SDK to work with the base network. So you can see we just need to go ahead and import our base girly here. And we just need to set our active chain to base girly. And just like that, you can go ahead and use Third Web's SDK to go ahead and start building your application on base. So there you have it. That was a really quick tutorial on how to go ahead and get started using the base network, but created by Coinbase. Just going over how to create a wallet, get some testnet funds and how to use third web to go ahead and create your smart contracts and applications to start building on base. Now, if you folks did enjoy this video and you did find some value in it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell too, so you can be notified when we post more videos. And if you haven't joined our Discord channel, be sure to join there. If you have any questions or need any support along your journey while building on the base network, feel free to drop us a question in there as well, and we'll be happy to help out. So again, I hope you folks enjoyed this video and until next time, see ya.